So now let's look at some deformers that we have that we can use for battle modeling and animation. For that, I'm going to drag in some shapes from over here. So I'm going to go over here. Let me take a cube um, as an example. So that's it's easier to understand. So I'm going to have 20 by 20 by 20 segments right here. So I'm going to have 20, 20, 20. And I'm going to have uh, my NB is actually on so I can actually see uh, the number of divisions right here. So let me just increase the size of this. So let me just increase uh, the size of this. Uh, I'm going to increase it only one size. So I'm going to convert this into polygon by pressing C first, drag it up just like that. I'm going to take my arrow. Let me just go down just like that. All right, there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some deformers, bulge, shear, and taper. For that, I'm going to make three variations of this by holding control and dragging the shape just like this. So over here on the first shape, I'm going to go over here. Let me use something called bulge right here. On this one, I'm going to add in another one. So I'm going to use shear. And for this one, I'm going to use uh, taper just like this. So I got cube one, two, and three. So on the first one, I'm going to use taper. I'm going to drag it down. For the second one, I'm going to use shear. And for the third one, I'm going to use bulge. I'm going to go over here. And then on the uh, basic, I'm just going to make sure that it fits onto the object. So I'm going to go over here uh, onto the taper on the object. I'm just going to go to fit to parent right here. I'm just going to go over here as well, fit to parent and fit to parent. So it actually stays there in its parent object right there. Let me uh, now look at the bulge option right here. On the bulge, you can see the size, you can see the mode <coughs> right there. If I were to increase the strength, you can see that the object actually becomes fat and thin, just like that. That is what bulge does. So it actually fattens up or thins up a material just like this. I can also increase and decrease the curvature as you can see. So you can have linear like a bulge and also a curvature like the bulge right there. So I can just go over here, increase and decrease the size just like that. Increase and decrease the curvature and you see that you get different effects right here. You can limit it within the box or unlimited effect right there. Just like that. So you can just, you can see that this is the effect just like that. You can bring it down, up and that is what bulge does. So that is within box. You can also go for limited or unlimited as you can see right there. So you can go to bulge right here. Let me just expand this out unlimited. So you can see that everything, every effect is unlimited right there. But let me just uh, keep it to within box right here. So let me just go over here, keep limited. And there you go. That's how you actually work around with the bulge. Share on the other hand is uh, this, uh, let, let's see slanting an object. So I'm going to go over here. You can see that shear actually happens right there. I can also change the angle right over here from this side. So you can change the angle to this side. Let's say, for example, drag it up and down right over here on the left side. And you can see that the shear is happening kind of like uh, what you see with playing cards. So I can also increase and decrease the curvature as you can see. And you can decrease the curvature, have it straight or have a bit of a curvature right here. You can have it limited just like the other uh, objects right here. You can also go over here now onto the taper. Let's see what happens. And in the taper, that's limited. It's all the same with the other objects right here. I can increase the strength and you can see that the top portion actually increases and decreases. And now you can work around with the curvature. You can increase and decrease the curvature right there. And there you go. That's how uh, different deformers can be used to actually uh, bring up different objects, um, uh, effects onto the object, just like that. Bring it up, down, and there you go. That's how everything actually happens. So that is how you can use bulge shear and taper deformers inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.